Okay, here we've got two really nice items. We've got a Canadian, both are Canadian cards, Empire Strikes Back. It's a 30 one back A Canadian Luke Bespin with the original picture with yellow hair. And on this we've got a Canadian Luke with brown hair on a 41 back C card. So both Canadian, both rare versions. This, cause this one's rare because it's got the original looking uh, walking picture. And this one's rare because of the brown hair. And it's the first, the Farm Boy League version. So these are both Canadian issue cards. Very nice. So I've got another Luke, I've got a Luke X Wing on the Canadian transition card. That's very rare as well. So you've got these two plus that. But these are very nice. Go, this, these two figures go really nice together. And the Luke Bespin has the most variants of any figure. Or basic, or, or well known variants. There's two picture variants, three picture variants actually, because the tri logo card has a different picture. Uh, three hair colours. And so this figure has the most well known variants out of the vintage line the Luke Skywalker Best Bin Fatigues. And then this Luke here has quite a few variants yellow, brown, orange hair as well. Uh, two pictures on the card. Uh, the, mo the, the second picture is famously known as the Gunner card and the three hair colours but the Luke here has the most variants because it has three picture variants it has the, this picture then the, what's called the looking picture and then the third variant is on the tri logo card which is a different picture which not many people know about that one so very nice the Luke Bespin's a 31 back A so that's the first issue Empire Strikes Back card and this one's a later issue 41 back C and the Luke, this Luke's graded 80 and this one here is 85 so the card gets 80 the bubble gets 85 and the figure gets 85 so it's a very high grade figure so two really nice items there ok here's the backs of the cards so this is the 31 back A card, so it has the logo, French logo in the centre at the top and all 31 figures that are available. 32 back is the addition of Yoda. And then the different things that sh the Snow Speeder, the Millennium Falcon and the Imperial Troops Transporter. It has a barcode on the card and a proof of purchase. And then here's all the different figures you can get. And that image of Luke there is the best bin Luke with the yellow hair as well. Okay, and then if we move to the uh, 41 back C card, the logo for Empire Strikes Back is on, on the corner. Then it's got uh, 41 images of different figures and has a, at the bottom a different arrangement of different items you can get. It's got the mini rigs now plus the at, at So if I draw back a bit you should be able to see the differences in the cards. Both very colourful, very nice, especially with the French uh, logo at the top. La Guerre des Etals. That just looks amazing. That's why I like Canadian cards because you've got the French as well as the English. Okay. So that's these two backs. We'll have one more look at the front and then look at. Okay, we've got the Luke Bespin there in Bespin Fatigues. This figure's card issue has been re released twice in 2007 and in 2010. And that 2010 figure and card is considered one of the best Lukes ever. So.
If you can't, this one's very pricey, but you could always get the VC10, uh, the tw 2010 version of Luke Bespin. A lot of people have got that. I missed it. I've got the 2007 version though. That's a nice figure as well. Okay, so Luke Bespin, this is a great figure. The costume's amazing. The sculpting, has, body sculpting has improved so much over th that figure. But this one's because it's the classic first figure that was released. You've just got a. That's just the sweet looking item. So is this one though. Not much more easier to find the Luke on the second picture card. Okay, so that's Luke Skywalker. Best being fatigued. Okay, here I've got that loose. AFA graded or UK graded Luke Bespin with the brown hair so you can see the two differences with the yellow hair and the brown haired version I prefer the yellow haired version but, and you can see subtle differences like this figure has a more pinkish face where this one's a lot more paler and both come with the yellow lightsaber the Harm Blaster and uh, both very nice figures. Luke brown haired on the Bespin card turns up more than the yellow ha haired version. So you can find, if you're going to find this card, if you're gonna, most likely going to find it the brown ha haired version. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. And um, you can see this version has no country of origin. You can see that the torso is slightly darker or richer in cut tone to the arms and legs and that's the same on this figure as well. I prefer the yellow haired version definitely. There's the brown haired version and if we compare it to this look here you can see that this brown is a sort of sandy colour and this one's a lot darker. So I don't know if Luke Skywalker has been messing around with um, hair colourants. So you've got three colours there, you've got dark brown there a more caramel toned hair colour there and then a very yellowish hair colour there so you've got three interesting variations the most interesting would be the orange haired look if you ever found that but it looks like Luke's been using heads and shoulders at least starts off with very pale hair then it goes to a medium brown and then it goes to a lovely dark chocolatey brown so and if you look at the picture there look how dark his hair is there okay so just thought you might want to like to see this we've got Luke Skywalker two best bin outfits and the original farm boy okay okay here we've got two quite hard to find variations. You've got the Luke Bespin with the looking walking photograph and Princess Leia Bespin outfit on the profile card. So these two cards have the first pictures. So both these pictures were changed uh, soon after these early release Empire Strikes Back cards. And so they're both highly prized by vintage collectors and they are harder to find than the later versions with the uh, second pictures respectively and both have quite a lot of variations so here you're looking at two figures with lots and lots of major major variations the Leia Bespin has the crew neck variation, the turtleneck variation plus two picture variations she has that card picture plus the, the one it was changed to and on Trilogo cards it reverted back to this picture as well then the Luke as I've said before has probably the most variations out of any vintage figure it has three hair colours yellow, brown, orange it has two picture vari three picture variations it has the walking picture the looking picture and the Trilogo specific variation 
This card here, the Luke, is a Canadian card, and this one here is a US card. That, this is a 80 near mint. Gets card gets 80. Bubble gets 85. Figure gets 85. And this one here is 85. Gets card 80. Bubble 85. Figure 85. So both get the same grades, almost. But this one. Uh, it's 85 overall, and this one here is 80 overall. But they're both 80 cards, both 85 fi uh, bubbles, and both 85 figures. So, both look really nice. So, just thought you might want to see these two variations. Hard to find figures. The original Luke on Best Bin on the first picture card, and the Leia Kunek on the first picture card. Both Empire Strikes Back 31 back the Luke's an A card and the Leia is a B card. Okay. Sweet looking items. I'll show you the backs. Okay, these are the backs of the Luke and Leia best bin. That's the Luke with the French logo there. Looks really nice and then writing in both English and French. This is a 31 back A Canadian card. It shows the slow speed of Falcon and Imperial Troop Transporter. And then this is a US 31 back B. And it has just English writing because it's an American card. Same pictures of the figures. Uh, has a different items though. It has the Attack playset or Hoff Ice World playset, whatever that thing is. The Darth Vader Star Destroyer playset and the Darth Vader collector's case. So I'm sure it's because of what's shown at the bottom that makes this card a, a later release. Okay, so there you go. Luke and Leia on uh, Empire Strikes Back. These are both early backs, 31 backs. And there was 32 backs and then 41 backs. 45 backs, 47 backs, and finally 48 backs. So Empire Strikes Back cards have loads and loads of different variations. Probably the most out of the whole uh, Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and Return of Jedi range. Okay. Okay, one more look at the Leia Best Bin. 31 back crew neck. And then we're going to just pull out to look at the Luke. The yellow hair. 31 back, uh, looking walking picture, both Empire Strikes Back cards, one Canadian, one US. Okay, yellow hair, crew neck. Okay, okay, this figure I've had a few year, couple of years now, but I've never done a review of it. It's the Death Squad Commander and on a 20 back A card. So the front of this card is the same as the 12 back card. It's these are the only 20 back cards that still have the LP, LP on them. So if you look there, you can see the L, LP, LP after the Kenner logo. And this is a fantastic figure. It's, uh, I mean, the body sculpt is way ahead of other 12 back figures. I mean, look at the way the feet are. They're actually angled rather than pointing straight forward, and the figure's body looks well in proportion. So this is a great, great figure, yeah. And it's graded. It's an 80 card. I mean, 80 overall grade. It's a US card, 20 back A. Has the white price area still, and. Death Squad Commander's name was changed. Everyone knows that famously, sort of, after the very first initial uh, early ones of the Empire Strikes Back figures. So maybe the 21 backs, you can get a Death Squad Commander on that on an Empire Strikes Back card, and that's really very expensive. And uh, the card gets 80, the bubble gets 85, and the figure gets 85. So it's 1978. 20 back A, Death Squad, Commander. So, this is not going to have quite a nice back though. Let's have a look at it. 
So there's the 20 back A cards back. You've got all eight of the new figures plus the original 12 there plus other items that are available. Okay, so I think this is bet more in focus now. So Star Wars, you've got Luke Skywalker, Walrus Man, Snaggletooth Red, Power Droid, Hammerhead, R5, D4, Death Star Droid.